What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Drive Talk Cars. And in today's episode, we're gonna be talking about microfiber cloths. We're gonna talk about what are microfiber cloths? What are those numbers that you may see when you purchase them? And when is the best time to use them? So let's jump into the video. So the microfiber towel comes in a wide range of quality, sizes, thickness, softness, and that's determined by the ratio of the two primary materials that are found in the microfiber cloth, which are polyester as well as polyamide. I might be saying that slightly off, but you get the gist of it. P-O-L-Y-A-M-I-D-E, polyamide. So what you may see when you're purchasing a microfiber cloth are two digits, actually probably three digits. There's the ratio of the polyester to the polyamide, which is normally a 80 and 20, or maybe a 75, 25 ratio. Polyester being the primary number, the larger number, and polyamide being the smaller number. But the higher the polyamide ratio or percentage in the microfiber cloth, then the softer it is. And usually the softer, the thicker, the more expensive it is. Another characteristic of the microfiber cloth, you can measure with the GSM, that's grams per square meter. And that number is usually, it can start at like 300s and go all the way up to 700s, or maybe even more than that. But ideally you see like 350, 650, somewhere around there. But the higher the number, the denser the material. So when it's dense, it's gonna be very thick. And I'll show you uh, some examples of those as we go through the video. But that's just kind of an overview of what the microfiber cloth consists of and what those numbers mean if you ever see them when you're purchasing the microfiber cloth. So let's take a closer look at some of the microfiber cloths that you may see or may have, and we'll go over what they're best used for. All right, so the first cloth we have here is on the cheaper side of microfiber cloths. It is an 85-15 ratio. Uh, mostly being polyester. As you can see, it is thin uh, and not very dense and plush. This cloth will primarily be used for the interior to wipe down seats or to wipe down the dashboard or anything that's not very delicate. It is soft, but it's not that soft. So you don't want to use it on anything that may show uh, scratches or that could be scratched easily. I wouldn't use it on paint or anything like that to buff out wax or any type of polish. It does have the edges that are kind of hard. So this is more of your dirty job, cleaning things of that nature that uh, are non-delicate or sensitive. So next we have one that is very similar to the one, the previous one, in the sense that it is an 85-15 blend. However, it's a little thicker. It has probably 360 GSM. I mean, you can feel it's a little thicker to the touch. So this actually came with the Shine Armor Quick Detailer. So it is safe to use on your paint surfaces. So this would definitely be a safer towel than the previous one. So one thing to note is, even though this is a safer towel, it does have the edges that could tend to be rough and could potentially scratch surface more so than just having a microfiber cloth without the edges. And I'll show you that in the next towel. But all in all, this is a safe towel to use. Not the softest by any means or the most plush, but it definitely gets the job done of wiping down the surface of the car as far as paint or, or using a quick detailer. So this one is similar to the previous, but thicker. Uh, I don't know the exact blend, being that this doesn't have a tag, but it did come with the quick detailer, and those tend to be on the safer side or thicker side of microfiber cloths. One thing to note about this one is that, as I mentioned the previous towel, this one doesn't have edges, as you can see there. It's just um, a smooth finish, no thread binding the edges. And with that, that kind of ensures that you won't get any scratches, at least not from, you know, the towel or anything on the towel, unless you got rocks or something. But anyway, this prevents scratches a lot better than this one or any other one that has an edge like this. This could potentially scratch. Whereas this one will not because it doesn't have that hard um, thread or anything like that. So this is probably the safest towel because it is designed for drying. 
your car. So when you dry your car, you have to rub, rub it over the whole surface of paint, glass. I can't remember exactly, but I think this is a 7525. It's probably about a GSM of 600 or so. With it being 600, you know that it's dense. And with the density, you can absorb more water or whatever the substance is. As I said, this is made for drying. So it is designed to absorb, which it does very well. So this is the example of a softer plusher tile with a higher GSM. And with that 7525, like I said before, if you have more polyamide or polyamide, we're still messing me up, then you will have uh, a softer feel and more dense and you will have more absorption power. So that's that. And the last one, is my polishing towel or buffing towel. This is super soft. Feels like chinchilla if you ever felt that before, but it is super soft, almost like mink. It's edgeless, so it doesn't have that sewing pattern at the end. It's designed to be super soft. It's very dense. It's probably a 7530 uh, ratio. And the GSM is probably on the lower side. It's probably like a 360, maybe 400, but it is definitely designed for buffing. If you want that finish and you want to make sure you're not scratching anything, this is the towel for you that you want. So you can see how thick it is. So compared to that, where's the cheapest, this is more expensive and more thick. So this one is definitely used for buffing. Not even applying wax or anything like that, but the final buff after you've polished and done everything. This is what you want to use. So as you can see, there are quite a few different microfiber cloths. Uh, there's probably more than I even showed you, but I wanted to give you kind of the different levels there were to them and how you go about using them so you don't ruin your car or the towel because a lot of the expensive towels you don't want to use on dirty jobs. As I say, something that I came across that I wanted to share with you guys and hopefully it brought you some value. If it did, give me that thumbs up. And as always, do it until you can. Till next time, I'm out.